as you can see here, actually in Shark FX, um, has the same tools uh, as uh, VIACAD Pro 8 that you can use to create some of that geometry that you're looking for in that model. <clears throat> this one is a little bit exaggerated. It's not uh, exactly the same as the model below it. Let's change that. To transparency, you can see behind it. I was just quickly sketching some of the geometry, and you can see the photograph in the background. And in the video, I will go ahead and I'll show how some of that's done. Still having some issues here getting the paper or draft on there, but um, I think I could work that out pretty much. Not too bad. Made it a bit thicker than it needed to be as well. Uh, again, I was just kind of tinkering with it to see what I could do in terms of getting to look like that, uh, that card that's on the photograph. Two tools that really came in handy, first of all, were for this one to deform face, which allows you to select the face. In this case, I just select like this surface here of this part. And you can see it deformed it and smoothed, smoothed it out like that. What's nice is that because of the geometry on the original photograph showed that these were coincident at the ends, that they merged, um, that tool worked out very well. Basically, just making uh, two copies of it, one with the actual dome on it, and the other still in the original lofted shape, and then just cutting out the geometry in between. The uh, text wasn't too bad, just traced that and extruded it up, and actually made that part of the, uh, the subtraction as I cut out the little sections. And um, in the part two, I'll go ahead and I'll show how that some of that's done. Again, I wasn't able to do this completely, or as easily, I should say, inside just via Cat 2D 3D. It's the pro version that you need, or Shark FX.